Welcome back to the Road to the Kraken, a series where most of the clip goes like missing a shot, so I'm running away. But now that I've finished reloading, now this guy is running away. But after all this hassle, he has a heavy shield, so I don't even get any progress to all the directives. So it's been a week since the first episode where I started strong with a lot of cheese strategy to make this grind doable. But unfortunately, I had to say that they haven't really been as effective as I was hoping. Going invisible with the cover drop implant, these stupid spitfires still shoot at me so I can't get the element of a surprise. And the smoke grenade spam with infra vision, it still works against some players. But I still get shot inside a smoke because all these sweaty Asians in Soltec are running infra vision as well. Like I remember this guy's name from the past videos, and of course he's running a sweat vision. I'm not even surprised. And I just really came to ask, is there any better way to grind rocket launcher kills? Is there any implant choice that I am forgetting? And there was. The minor clock. Yes, the implant that everyone forgot about its existence because no one ever uses it. This is the implant that lets you clock as a non-infiltrator, but it requires you to stand still for 8 seconds, which is just too long to be of any use in most situations. Now I could just go cap a point and then go invisible, so when a guy comes to recap and stand still, I can just one shot them out of nowhere. But if I do that, I just get found by people who never blink, and also I have to be forced to declock with this implant before being able to shoot, so the enemy has to be really oblivious. But I just thought, what if, just what if, I activate the heavy shield while I'm in clock? I would look like a ghost. So when all these sweaty Asians see me, they would then mistake me as an ancestral spirit and bow down, so I can easily one-shot them. So here I am, I just go skip the point, and when an enemy shows up, I will activate my heavy shield and say, I am your ancestor. Wait, where is this guy going? Anyways, here I am, clocked right on the point, and disguised as an ancestral spirit. And what is wrong with this guy? Disrespecting against ancestors. Like, are you not Asian? Apparently, this guy is Australian, so I guess that makes sense why that strategy didn't work. So anyway, I'm back here, sitting right on the point room, and this guy, I guess he's kneeling down before the ancestral spirit. And of course, this strategy works. And you just really have to give the credit. I'm being so obvious with heavy shield active, it can't be that they just don't see me. They must really think that I am the ancestral ghost. And so just when this guy turns the other way, I can just creep up to him and then just one shot. You know, I can just one shot him. So thanks to this genius strategy, I got like whopping 8 kills over progress toward the directive. But it was just a matter of time until the type of people who don't respect ancestors started showing up. And he ruined everything. So instead, I will be trying some other strategies that were suggested by the comments in the last video. Now the first one was to just go for all the abandoned flashes that are littered everywhere on the map. And yeah, these flashes, they're like a blessing to me. I can only wish if there were thousands of them lying around. And another advice was to just soften up targets beforehand as a vehicle. Like in here, I just body block this lightning so it can't move and bring it to low health, so I can just last hit it with my rocket launcher. But unfortunately, this nada hit is always there to just steal my hard-earned kills. But anyways, as some people suggested, there is apparently this one strategy that lets you consistently grind up kills with rocket launcher. And in fact, I think it is the most fitting to show it as a montage.
and it's just horrible. It's consistent, but I don't think anyone can have a patient to just massacre 6,000 turrets. And with that out of the way, I guess it only leaves this one realistic way to grind rocket launcher kills. That is, just keep charging into enemy over and over again. You know, just running straight into the enemy and repeating the exact same thing until it works. Because most of the time, you can just fire one shot before dying, and like half of the time, you actually trade a kill. So I just kept running straight into my death, and I finished up the last few remaining kills on a decimator. But I didn't stop there. I kept running right into my death. At this point, it didn't matter if I die 100 deaths per hour, didn't matter how much flak armor tryhards there were. I kept charging head on, even if it's a max, because for every max that I can one shot, there's always 1 in million chance that you run into 1 HP new player max 3 times in a row. Being spawn room camped by a zerg pit, it did not stop me. I went straight for the tunnel vision guy standing still. So I just never stopped running, trading kills one after another. And then, it finally came down to this one final moment. This guy just randomly came out of nowhere and sat on a javelin. And I completed the air lock-on launcher. 